Hello and welcome back to another episode of the series where I show you useful wall runs that you may or may not know about but usually they're just focusing on helping you in multiplayer situations to take the jump in your enemies or just as a shortcut around the map. In the previous episode we went over the base maps in the game, not all of them because not all of them have useful wall runs that are lesser known but I went over a good few of them and in this episode I'm going to go over DLC 1 and DLC 2. The next episode which will come out near the end of Infinite Warfare's life cycle will be, will be covering DLC 3 and 4 but like I said this one is DLC 1 and DLC 2. So in, in general Infinity Ward seem to have toned down how, ma how many wall runs there actually are. Um, in, in the DLC maps at least. In the base maps there's wall runs which you have to know and use in order to get around the map such as like you know, on Mayday but in this map or in DLC packs it doesn't seem to be anywhere close to as many wall runs. Some maps there aren't any wall runs like Turista there's like none so anyway we'll get into DLC 1 first. So on Dominion which is the Afghan remake there's a wall run where the walkway used to be on the outside of the map in the original map. So there's a wall run there, it's pretty obvious if you've actually played Afghan before, if you played the original one, one over two. But for people who didn't play it, like me, um, there's a wall run where the walk walkway used to be. So it's pretty useful instead of going up above, which I'll show you in the video, but it's useful to make the jump in some. This is also a wall run which it isn't very practical and it's more just like a private match type of thing but it can be useful in some situations. You can wall run all the way from the spot which I previously showed you all the way around the middle of the map up to the ledge so it's kind of like it's not really a shortcut it's kind of just like a neat sort of wall run but it can be useful in some situations like I'm going to show you with the plane um, if you're going up with the, instead of going up the tail of the plane and jumping onto the ledge, you can walk up the wing and then jump onto the wall run and wall run to the ledge. So it's pretty useful in that regard. But Dominion doesn't have that many wall runs. Obviously, it's a remake, so it shouldn't have. But the next map is Renaissance, and this is a bit of a surprising one because the first one's pretty obvious one. You can wall run on the outside of a building. This cancels off lines of sight from the church, um, as well as a or lines of sight coming from the middle of the map, like the church, and two coming just from like a spawn and the actual middle of the map. So it's pretty useful in that regard. It also helps make or take the jump on enemies that are coming out of their spawn because they won't really expect you to do that. This is a more common one. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do it, but I've definitely seen people in videos do it, so it's not that um, hidden. The other one would be, I'm not sure if this is so much practical or anything, but it's more just, I think it would take enemies off guard more than anything. You can wall run on the outside buildings of the map, at the same wall I showed you. you can, I didn't think you'd be able to do this, but I tried it out and you actually can. So I haven't used it in match yet, but I imagine that if you do this in game it'll take enemies off guard and be able to kill them pretty easily so because they won't expect you to be wall running there so I think it's a pretty useful one. Next map is Noir and there's only one on this map. It's a pretty close quarters map, there's not many wall runs at all. But this is this is at a choke point where instead of running into the choke point you can wall run on the outside of the map um, to avoid the line of sight coming from the middle from the middle of the map and to avoid the choke point altogether. This can help you if there's someone actually sitting at the choke point, like camping there, or if someone's running into the choke point, you can wall run around it and then take the jump on someone, you know, like shoot them in the back or something like that, so it's one of the more useful ones, I think. As for Neon, the entire map's a wall run, pretty much. Like, you can wall run anywhere in that map, so the entire map's a wall run. Basically, I, there's no specific spots that I, that I need to show you in that. If you think you can wall run somewhere in that map, you can, basically, so, yeah, that's that's Neon. So, we'll move on to DLC 2 now. So, the first map I'm going to show you is Scrap. Now, this doesn't have any wall runs in it. Um, basically, there's, like, a few stupid ones, like, wall running inside of a building or something, but, um, the main thing I'll show you in this map is, if you didn't know, you can go upside down on the big magnets that are in the map, so, there's three of them, I'm going to show you them now. It's pretty obvious, if you didn't know this then, you know, you maybe haven't played the map very much or you don't pay attention to details on the map, but you can go upside down 
in scrap, so it's not, yeah, it's not a war room, but it's pretty obvious, so just wanted to get that out there if no one had, if no one knew about that, so, or if someone didn't know about that, so. Next map is Excess, this is the Rust remake, another Mon Wolfer 2 remake, I hope they stop doing that, because I won't go streamix, but, anyway, um, Rust remake, you can war run somewhere, I, like, you can war run in this war run, which is, uh, it, I don't know if it's useful at all, it's just kind of there, you know, they, it's obviously meant to be there, it's one of the sort of war runs that are obvious in the map, it's not useful, basically, there's no point in doing it. Um, if anything, I might keep you out of the sight of people at the top of the middle of the map, um, but it doesn't do much. The main one, which is something that I didn't realise was a thing until I went in a power match and mucked around in it, you can war run on the outside of the map, just past where I showed you. So you can war run on the outside of the map, and this completely blocks off lines of sight from the middle of the map. I don't know if the glass is bulletproof, but I would assume it is, but even if it isn't, people won't take people won't expect you to be there. So you can basically wall run on the outside of the map. This brings you into the enemy's spawn, or into your spawn depending on what side of the map you're on, but it bring it lets you wall run into the enemy's spawn. So it's it's pretty useful and I'm definitely gonna be using it whenever I play excess. But yeah, it's pretty useful. Um I just also want to say and I'm test I sh I'm showing this in the video but I tested war running on the outside of the building. Uh, it's hard to describe when you're talking about it, but in this video you, you'll see you can't war run there. Um, it's it, it surprised me because you can war run in in a similar situation in the war, but you can't do it in excess, which kind of surprised me. But then I suppose it is a remake, so they want to kind of stay true to the whole vibe of the map. So yeah, it, fair enough. You know, if if you do have FTL jump, you can make it. You know, you can make the gap, but you know, it's kind of a waste of an FTL jump, so, yeah. But the next map is Archive, and this has an obvious war run, which, if you haven't seen this, then I don't know what you're doing, but basically there's a war run which allows you to completely cancel out going into a building, so if there's an enemy there, you can kind of, and he's like camping at a doorway or something, pre a doorway, you can war run, and then you can go up behind him and kill him. Um, in addition to this, you can also keep going along that sort of path and jump onto a balcony, and this will allow you to kind of surprise enemies coming from their spawn and that sort of thing. So I didn't realize this was a thing until I went into into private match, but yeah, it I'd say it'll be useful for taking enemies off guard coming out of their spawn. Um, one that I've been using that I haven't really been able to actually get any kills with yet because no one really goes to this part of the map, but if you're on the right hand side, of the, or if you're on the side of the map, the opposite side of the map where I just showed you, um, there's a path which it's not really useful apart from uh, avoiding that open area, which is kind of like a sniper AR um, area, if you're using a shotgun it's pretty useful. You can war on the out on the outside of like that area, and Basically, if, if an enemy comes w running down there or something like that, you can take them off guard because they won't expect you to be there. It's a bit obvious if you're far away, they'll see you like instantly, but if you're up close to the cover while you're wall running, they won't really notice you, so it's pretty useful in that regard. Um, especially if you've got shotguns, because you can uh, be up close to the person and take the jump on them. So, And it's a good way to avoid the open middle of the map, open portion of the map. Um, but that's it really. Tourista doesn't have any wall runs, um, which surprised me. I think it's good that it doesn't have any wall runs, but it doesn't really have any. There's, there's, a, there's one or two which I don't have in the video, but there's one or two which kind of don't help at all, so there's no point in having it, but there's like smooth sort of portions of the map which you can just latch onto and wall run. It's not useful in like the slightest, but anyway, that's it. So. Like I said, the next episode will be DLC 3 and 4, the last episode which I'll probably link in a card, maybe at the end of the video, something like that, and in the description probably, is the first episode which I covered the, the base maps. So not all the base maps are covered because not all of them have useful ones like I said, but that's it really. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please consider leaving a like and maybe even subscribing. Um, if you didn't enjoy the video, 
which, you know, I can accept because it isn't amazing. Um, please tell me why in the comments section because I really want to improve these videos. The series, I think, is a series with sort of potential and I think it's it's not going to be continued next year obviously because there's not going to be any war runs because of World War II, but definitely I think it's a useful series and if you think there's any way I can improve it please let me know in the comments because I will definitely take the feedback on board and I'm looking for any way possible to improve my videos. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next one. Bye.